Hi, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. I need to make some circles for an upcoming project, so I made this simple and cheap circle cutting jig for my bandsaw, and I'm going to show you how I did it. The jig was made from a piece of scrap plywood that was a little over a foot square. The exact dimensions aren't too important though. A piece of walnut trim I found in a dumpster, but any other hardwood would work too. And some hardware that I'll talk about in a minute. My piece of walnut trim fit perfectly in the slot on my bandsaw, so I only had to cut it to the correct length and height. I cut it to length with a miter box because it was too long to fit on my little bandsaw. And I ripped it to the proper height with the bandsaw. Then I positioned the plywood where I wanted it and measured the distance from the left edge to the walnut runner. That was eight inches for me. I marked that spot on the bottom of the plywood and drew a line all the way down the wood. I drilled three 1 8 inch pilot holes in the walnut runner, and then drilled 3 8 inch countersink. I positioned the runner along the line on the plywood and marked the hole positions. Then I drilled 1 8 inch pilot holes at these spots. My drill press wasn't big enough to reach the center spot, so I had to use a hand drill for that one. Then I glued and screwed the runner to the plywood. I used 1 half inch number 8 wood screws. I got a block of scrap wood and clamped it to the table of the bandsaw. Then ran the jig through the bandsaw until it hit the stop block. I turned off the machine and marked the spot on the jig where the blade stopped. Then I turned the block to its short side and clamped it down again. I ran the jig through the bandsaw again until it hit the stop block. And I marked this spot too. You could do this as many times as you want, but I just did it twice for now. Then I drew a line across the jig at the two spots I marked. You may have noticed that the jig wasn't sliding very easily. To correct this, I sanded the runner down a little until it slid easily on the bandsaw. I marked spots on the lines I drew at different distances from the blade. It's easy to add more later, and this is where having multiple lines comes in handy. My secret ingredient for this build is a tack glide. Tack glides are usually put on the bottom of furniture legs to protect floors. The tack glides I got were 5 8 inches, but they come in other sizes too. I found that a 5 8 inch hole was just a little too big for these tack glides. I think a 9 16 inch hole would be perfect, but I don't have a Forstner bit that size, so instead I drilled half inch holes at the spots I marked on the jig. Then I chucked one of the tack glides into the drill and used sandpaper wrapped around a wood block to sand the plastic down until it fits snugly in the one half inch holes I drilled. The spike part was too long for my taste, so I cut it shorter and then ground a new point on it. To use the jig, you clamp down the stop block and drive the tack glide into the bottom of whatever you're cutting and put it in the proper hole in the jig for the radius you want. Turn on the bandsaw and push the jig in until it hits the stop block. Then you can rotate the workpiece And once you've gone all the way around, you get a perfect circle with only a small divot in one side. The jig was simple to make. I designed it and built it in less than a day. It makes really nice circles. It was cheap too. I think I spent $3 on supplies. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos or check me out on Patreon or Twitter or Etsy. Thanks for watching. All right, let's do this. Ah, why can't I say that? Simple and cheap circle cutting, simple and cheap circle cutting jig. 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 Too many S's. Or follow me on Twitter. Oh, that was so good. And then I screwed it up at the end. Did I say everything I wanted to say? Okay. Shut her down, boys.